what now then? Victory goes to House Walfort. Give thanks to the goddess for bestowing upon you her grace. This concludes your trial. Well fought, all of you. To think the truth had to be proved through a test of strength. It was the Hierophant's decree. None in Hyzant raise objections. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, my lord. After all, losing the battle would have meant losing our heads. <sighs> I suppose you are right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ask me naught. Completed. Nice. Save your game. Yes, please. Yes, sir, please. Rum dum dum diddly um tum 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 That same diddly, day, um. word spread throughout Hyzant of Sorsley End's demise, and that of House End along with him. Bitch! Chapter 10, part 3, the reward for betrayal. Oh boy. That doesn't sound great. <laughs> um, okay, so we have more character stories. We have Roland and we have Frederica. Nice. Best boy, best girl, potentially. Uh, Roland reminisces during a training session with Serenoa. Much better. Only because I've had you to train with. And how far behind would I be without Sir Maxwell's tutelage? The Dawnspear himself is my personal mentor. And still you're all but my equal. It's been a while since we last sparred. It takes time to adapt to a new opponent. Perhaps so. Anyhow, I always enjoy our skirmishes. No better way to clear my head after another quarrel with father. I mean, I've got got bad news for you about your father, mate. Don't, don't know if you heard. You're not going to have Must any more problems with him. Must all three nations be part of this mining venture? I've yet to hear a convincing argument as to why. You do not hear because you do not listen. Hyzant offers nothing but a sliver of their vast riches. Something we could easily do without. I understand the advantage of involving Esfrost. Their expertise speeds things along immeasurably. But Hyzant... Ironically, involving Esfrost lower the taxes on salt, was the wrong decision. Such a change would be welcomed by our subjects and enrich their daily lives. Because if we hadn't involved Esfrost, then they would have never found whatever it was they found, which we still have no idea what they found. They found something so game-changing that all of this occurred, but we have no idea what it was. Still. Still. Is it going to be revealed in, like, the final fucking cutscene, what this thing they found was? But anyway. Uh, yeah, if we hadn't, if we hadn't involved them, then none of this would have happened, and you, King, would still be alive, which you're currently very not. So... Probably should have listened to Rola, although Roland's not advocating for Esfrost to be kicked out, but still. Just, <laughs> uh, yeah. Dumb, dumb moves. We cannot concede everything while gaining naught in return. Surely you see this, father. It has been decided, and I will hear no more. You presume upon matters you do not comprehend. But father, I'm just... What more now, is there Roland, to comprehend? If there is nothing else, pray leave me be. I have more important matters to attend to. You sucking the Hierophant's dick? Is yes, that what's going on? A little bit of... A little bit of give and take? Why would you... If Hyzant are literally giving you fuck all, then why would you involve them? If 
only I'd found the right words. Like maybe it was just as an attempt to keep peace between exactly. all three nations, but I don't know, it just seems silly. Perhaps things would have ended differently. Blaming yourself for past mistakes will lead you nowhere. You must look forward for the opportunities ahead. Of course. And I trust you'll be at my side come that time. Always, mate. Just as House Wolfort stands with the crown, I stand with you. I am fortunate to have he as loyal friend now. <laughs> as you. As am I. Ah, enough sentimentality. Raise your spear so I can knock it down. You're welcome to try, my friend. Stabs him through the head. Right. Next up, Frederica has an important matter to discuss with Gila. Bum, 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 bum. Lord Saranoa never ceases to amaze me. Despite all the hours he dedicates to his duties, he looks none the worse for wear. Even so, I am certain it takes its toll on him. He wants to set an example for his people and those who serve him, and wishes not to worry them over his condition. Excuse me, Saranoa, but is there anything I could do to help? Ah, Frederica, my apologies for the delay. The citizens' petition will require a bit more time, so why don't you and Gila return home ahead of me? I see. If you insist. But please do not push yourself too hard, Saranoa. I shan't. Thank you, Frederica. Of course. Okay. <sighs> Is something the matter? Oh. It's rare of you to sign like that. <sighs> Did I? Oh my. <laughs> Did I sigh? It looks like something's notice. troubling you. If you wish to talk about it, I am happy to lend an ear. Well, to be perfectly honest, I sometimes wonder if I can go on like this. Are things not going well with Lord Saranoa? No! Saranoa is as kind and gentle as ever. It is my own self I have doubts about. I cannot help but wonder if I am truly of any use to him. Since Lord Saranoa is always working so hard, why not give him a tonic to boost his vitality? I purchased one from a merchant not long ago. It should chase all his fatigue away. A good idea to be sure, but the fact remains it is not me myself that is serving him. Then, how about preparing a meal for him? Something nutritious to fill him with vim and vigor. <laughs> or perhaps prepare for him something Me. for the evening. <laughs> Cook. Yes, I'm certain he would be delighted by anything that you make. But I've never cooked before. I doubt anything I make would suffice. You won't know until you try. Besides, what matters isn't the result, but the feeling behind it. Use this cookbook. I'm sure you will find a recipe or two to your liking. Thank you, Gila. Now then, which of these would Saranoa enjoy? All right. Good luck. Good luck on your cooking adventures. Um, Central Hyzant. Lila reacts to news of Sorsley's passing. Passing? More like failing, Gollum. I understand Sorsley End is with the goddess now. What a pity. 
Although there's no greater Gotham than being killed, I suppose. <laughs> he has been counted among the dead from the accident. Keep spinning those lies and soon they shall be tied around your neck. Though in truth, I'm surprised they've not done so already. Are you not pleased, milady? Shall I inform Minister Edor? Be my guest. Without me, all research grinds to a halt. My mind is without equal. But of course, Minister. I was only teasing. Would it kill you to smile for once? Be more aware of the words from your mouth. Remember, you are not but Edor's pawn. Oof. <laughs> Forgive me. Where are my manners? Now pray, return to your precious research. See that you complete it, for you know who. Who know who who? Is Edor you know who? Why wouldn't they say that? Hmm. I know full well who it serves. We're all pawns in the end. Pawns of the Hierophant? But, like, the Hierophant's already the highest power, so why would it need... Like, anything it says goes. <laughs> wonder who the Hierophant is, whether that matters at all, or whether it's just, like, just some person that's high up. <laughs> it sounded like they were saying that when a previous Hierophant dies, one of the Saintly Seven replace them, so... I mean, everyone must know who the Hierophant is, all, all the Saintly... Well, actually, no, everyone, because everyone knows who the Saintly Seven are currently. Like, everyone is a big fan of the Saintly Seven in Hyzant. So, they must know who the previous one was that then the, the old Hierophant died and one of the Saintly Seven mysteriously disappeared and was replaced with a new member of the Saintly Seven. So, that is presumably that everyone must know who exactly the Hierophant is. Uh, Serenoa's party barely has a moment to collect their breaths before a new challenge is laid before them. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 ba. So, Lord Serenoa, what shall you do now? Well, that was weird. It wasn't letting me. I shall speak plainly. Put the auto the thing on. The Holy One wishes to aid House Wolford. Sir, thank you, Your Holiness. I'd like to become a member of the Saintly Seven, Your house please. Is known throughout all Norzelia, and rightly so, given the vital land you control. It would be quite the blow if Esfrost's aggression spelled the end of your domain. The Hierophant tells me a seat amongst the Saintly Seven shall be oh, yours shit. should you desire. What? I was joking. <laughs> and I would not hesitate to accept it if it meant securing peace for my people. Then perhaps we can find common ground. I was... I did not expect that to however, actually happen. ...has a concern. I would hear it. The Roselle living in your domain. <sighs> Oof. This is about to get they spicy. They are descendants of the sinners who dwell at the source. That is their proper place. There they offer themselves to the goddess in the hopes they may one day atone for their sins. The Hierophant longs to see them return to their rightful home. Well, the Hierophant can you fuck off. You have me surrender them to you. It is not my place to make demands. I am merely to deliver unto you the word of the Hierophant. And so I have done. Is he actually asking me to p pick between my fucking betrothed and... This Hierophant who I don't even know who it is or what they're like Sir or anything. Noah, Fuck right off with that. you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? Are you talking about I yourself in the know. third person? As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Oh, right. Are Alas, they not talking about her? Are they talking house about... is not what it once was. Are they talking about is the other Roselle, I guess, its in honor? Near, nearby where My we live? My father as well likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, my friends, I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. 
Have you decided? Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcery's corpse. You've got some nerve. I speak from experience when I say that the title of saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled. The blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. What? If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed. Poor options both. You must spill the blood of enemy friend and self? Obviously, it's not talking about killing yourself, but... Spill the blood of a friend? I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one, Chief. In his time, Lord Simon protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant, and the village they established within the Wolfort Domain. Oh yeah, I remember going there actually. years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source, where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. To secure the Hierophant's goodwill and the subsequent protection of House Wolford, Zeranoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Wait, really? We don't get to tell them to fuck off? That feels like a big Thus, choice that we should be able to make. Ruined and a vacant position among I was going to tell them to get bent. To filled. Rumors of House Wolfort's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. What? Chapter 11, Part 1. Oppressions under the sun. I cannot believe that that is not something we have control over. That is a major decision for the game to take out of your hands and just be like, yeah, these people that you've protected for 30 years, yeah, we're going to just send them back to the fucking source where they escaped from. Like, that's a massive thing to just force you to do. I can't believe that. That's Lord so shit. Lord Noah, I believe it may be in our best interest to turn over the Roselle after all. But they fought Wait. so hard to what? escape, Hyzant. What? They would never agree to return. The, the narration just said that we we did it. Did it not? Am I fucking losing my mind? Can you read can you read the narration on the log? It says, in his time, Lord Simone protected the Roselle. Uh Okay, I guess it's saying this as like a future thing. It's sa okay, I guess I misread Well I didn't misread, I misinterpreted the words, I suppose. The way it said the way it says to secure this, Serenoa had, has, oh, okay, it says has, not had. He has no other choice but to acquiesce, but like he does, he does have the choice, but just doing so won't secure the Hierophant's goodwill. Okay. Okay. It really sounded to me like it was saying that that was something that you didn't get to choose and it was just done. Like, <laughs> it was just... They just made that choice for you. But I guess not, so I can tell them to fuck off. Okay. It would be a show of good faith to the Saintly Seven and secure House Wolford's safety. If the situation calls for force, well, we must be prepared to borrow Minister Exham's words. I... I see. Give me time to think over the matter. Where is Frederica? Oh, she... She left for the source with Prince Roland. She said she wanted to see where the Roselle lived for herself. Ah. Indeed, Byzantian law requires all Roselle to make their home at the source. She is most troubled over this, Lord Saranoa. Please, if you could... 
I understand. I will make for the source at once. Don't worry, I ain't forcing anyone to go back. Bum, bum, biddly um. Bum. We've got side quests. Uh, from the throne room of Whitehome Castle, Gusadolf begins the next stage of his plan. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dum 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 dilyum. Thalus, thank you for making the necessary arrangements. No need to thank me. I am your prime minister, after all. I have made sure those with any power in Glenbrook understand their place. They will do as we command. Then everything is in place. It is time. Is there nothing I might do to aid you, brother? If there were, I would tell you. Hmm. And the consortium, Thalos? Oh, I expect we shan't have any trouble from them. I have promised them a considerable sum to stay out of our way. Good. Now it is just a waiting game. I wonder how long the Hyzantians will last. How long they'll last? Uh-oh, what are you doing to the Hyzantians? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Crown City. A dancer approaches a certain man in Glenbrook with an intriguing offer. Is this the same dancer that was just speaking to Lila in the other side quest? Bum, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. Yeah, that's her. She looks pretty. Oh god, it's fucking that Silvio prick. Silvio Tellior, I presume. Wait, didn't he go up to Esfrost? I thought he went up to Esfrost. Who might you be? Someone who brings good tidings. An offer you may wish to consider. I am ruined. Who would want to offer me anything? It is Minister Edor's wish. Will you hear me out? One of the saintly seven. Then you are Hyzantian. My master is eager for your assistance, as you are quite close to House Woolfort. Not anymore, he's fucking not. But hey, I'd do anything she asked me. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Right, was that it? Yeah. Okay, Frederica makes her way to the source to see her fellow Roselle, but. But. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Please, I'd only like to glimpse the goddess's sacred grounds for myself. It won't take but a moment. That may be, but outsiders are not permitted into the source for such frivolities. And you are Rosellen. You ought to understand the teachings better than anyone. <sighs> Frederica. Saranoa, forgive my impulsive behavior. All good, dude. There's nothing to forgive. I too wish to learn more of the Rosellen Hyzant. Not knowing would make my decision easier, but still I feel I must. Sarah Noah? I don't think knowing really makes any difference at all. <laughs> the very same. Lord Sarah Noah Wolfort. They escaped from here. We promised them we would help them. We are now being told to send them back. It is a very simple no, I feel. The We've one already promised them that the we will help them, and like this house and once did. To that end, we are here today for to preliminary inspection of the grounds. So the rumors were true. Well, are you refusing the newest addition to the Saintly Seven entry into the source? Uh, of course not. Please, right this way. I mean, we're not a member of the Saintly Seven yet, but sure. <laughs> That is, uh, that is only going to be given to us if we 
fuck him over. Oh, right, this is... Right, yeah, 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 I forgot this was... We already saw this. This is people getting fucking executed and slave labor and horrible, nasty shit. I want to get these people out of here, not fucking put more people back in here. Disgraceful. Is that Edor? All right, you Rosellan wretches. Time for worship. This definitely looks like a battle map, by the way. <laughs> Minister Edor of the Saintly Seven himself will be giving the sermon today. You should be thankful. Heed his word, and your sins shall be cleansed. Shut the fuck up, mate. Roselle, do you know why you are imprisoned at the source, condemned to toil? Do tell. It is because your ancestors committed the most heinous of sins. Long, long what ago. What they do? They piss in your porridge? They schemed to seize control of the salt that the goddess bequeathed to the people of Nozelia. Long, long ago, they hey? They seized the source for themselves, wresting every last grain of salt from other peoples desperate for the resource sounds like those Using dudes were dickheads they hoarded as a shield they terrorized the land destroying any who stood against them in their thirst for domination but that Fanned was a long time ago <laughs> greed, the flames of war long ravaged our land countless innocents lost their lives what a terrible arrogant people their cursed souls dwell within you their progeny to this very day. Well, that's fucking insane to think. What a, what a just fucking dumb as shit. Like, can you imagine if we, like, <laughs> like, fucking hell, I'm from the UK. The UK did some bad shit in the past. We were fucking out there conquering and murdering and doing all the terrible shit. I'm pretty glad that those other countries don't, like, fucking keep us in slave labor in retaliation for all the shit that our country used to fucking do. This is, uh... A very dumb argument, Idor. Fucking, hopefully, I wonder if we will be able to free all these people. It would be good. Indeed. The proof is in the very color of your hair. The same red as the blood that flowed from their countless... The hair's pink, mate. You've got a fucking color Our issue. People sinned against the goddess. We are a detestable blight upon Norzelia. Oh no, they've internalized it. Oh, oh no. Goddess of salt, please. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us. Do not despair, for the goddess of salt is ever merciful and kind. She grants even yeah, the worst Yeah, I see that with the sinners. fucking dead Rosella in the bottom right corner the there. To Very merciful. Very that kind. Atonement will only come through hard work here at the source. By quenching this earth with your sweat. By giving your lives to this labor, your cursed souls will be cleansed and welcomed back to the goddess's side. Only then, when your sins have been washed away, can you hope to be reborn into a pure body and once again walk upon Norzelia. Bruh. People of the Roselle, surrender your lives to the source and give your thanks to the great goddess. Bruh. Oh, goddess of salt, for you I give myself, stained with sin as I am. Oh, I can't believe they've internalized it. We'll never be able Thank to free them if they think that they're supposed the to stay to there. Fuck. Thank you. Thank you. That is enough. Now take that gratitude and turn it toward your work. How about I turn you toward this middle finger? I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is atonement? And the Rizal accept it as a fitting punishment? Even if that story Edor told is true, no sin warrants this kind of cruel retribution. Hyzant maintains control over Salt now. Are they then not guilty of the same crime? <laughs> yeah, that's a good fucking point. You are right. But this is as the goddess of salt commands, is it not? Serenoa, you dumb motherfucker! 
you understand that the Hierophant is definitely not actually speaking to a god, right? It's just a fucking ruse. Time to see for myself what goes on at the source. Like, there's actually no way. <laughs> oh, it has a water texture? Oh, I didn't realize. Huh. I thought it was just like shimmering blue, but it's actually like watery. This cask weighs nothing when compared to the weight of our sins. Fuck me. Just, just nothing at all, huh? Uh, hello? What is going on? I'm trying to fucking walk over here. There we go. Nothing. The movement bangle. I guess that's a movement up. Nothing. This is the only work I've ever known. It's all I'm fit for now. Many years ago, some of us tried to flee this place. None would dare dream of doing that now. Quality stone. Very nice. I understand they've yet to replace Minister Sorsley as overseer, and so we lumber on, a beast without a head. No one to issue orders should a crisis arise. It's hardly surprising he was one of the saintly seven. They'll not replace him so hastily. Rumours swirl they might ca call upon the Woolfort boy. I don't care if they pick my own mother so long as the position is filled. <laughs> so they would install me as the overseer of the source if I can find my way into the saintly seven. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way that I could use that position to make, to like, free everyone. With Sorcely dead, there's no one left to oversee it. It isn't an unfounded rumour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had any way of knowing that I could get into the position and then use it to free everyone, then I guess I'd do that, but I probably wouldn't be able to do that, so... The treatment of the Roselle here is utterly inhumane. Indeed. I hope they give us water today. Ugh. Sorry, kid. Faster, faster! There shall be no rest for the wicked. Ah. Lord Serenor of House Wolfort, I presume. I'm sorry you had to lay eyes on the tainted ones, but this is where the Roselle pay their penance. The tainted Roselle are fated to live out their days working in the source, in the hope they may one day atone for their sins. They are nothing like the rest of, rest of us, by the very nature of their birth. They are impure and lack integrity. Uh... The nature of one's birth does not enter into it. Forgive my lack of decorum, but only an unbeliever would dare utter something so stupid. And of all the unbelievers, it's you, the Lord of House Wolfort, loudly proclaiming we are all born equal from the seat that is his birthright. I mean, that's not... <laughs> that's a position. That's not, like, your innate, inherent goodness or badness. That's just a title. <laughs> That is not the same thing. Then I trust you'll have no no trouble explaining why the Holy One seems poised to offer this unbeliever a seat among the saintly seven. Ah, uh, well, clearly that is not for me to know. None can truly know the goddess's ways. Yeah, fucking shut the fuck up. None but the overseer and his workers may enter. If you've no more business here, I suggest you, be, I should, I suggest you shut the fuck up, mate. Did I not just tell you who I am? Did I ask for your fucking opinion? I don't remember. Remember doing that, mate? I can't. I can do it. I can carry the salt. How can the Holy State allow a man in his condition to continue working? This is the only work I've ever known. It's all I'm fit for now. Many years ago, some of us tried to flee this place. None would dare dream of doing that now. Ugh. I could have swore I just saw something glinting here. We need to only follow the goddess's teachings in order to be absolved. Another grounding amulet. I 
I did see something flashing. Man, it's really hard to see the flashing lights on this, like, blue glittery background. <laughs> it's very difficult to see when anything is actually flashing. Oh, there is one there. Nice. I must have got most of them. Like, that's like the fifth thing we've picked up, I think. They force young and old alike to toil in deplorable conditions and have the audacity to call it atonement. They don't even tend to those who collapse from exhaustion. They treat my people worse than criminals. It breaks my heart to behold such cruelty. I can scarcely imagine what it must be like to suffer through this. Uh, da, 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 da. I would love to see them free, but yeah, I don't know how. They are born with the sin of their ancestors upon their shoulders, then spend their lives laboring at the source, being treated like filth until they die. It is, a, it is an accursed fate, but perhaps the ones who see nothing wrong with such cruelty are the ones who are truly cursed. We are still outsiders, Frederica. We must be exceedingly careful in how we speak of the affairs of other nations. But I agree, this is not right. That's a fucking understatement of the year. Look at this, Serenoa. The scene before you is but a fact of life for Hyzant. It sickens me. Well, don't worry. We ain't sending anyone back here, that's for fucking sure. So long as I'm given the option to tell them to fuck off, then I will be telling them to fuck off. <laughs> I must assume we will be given the option, which which is why I was so shocked when it sounded like it was saying that it wasn't giving me the option, but then it was like, oh no, actually, we are. <laughs> okay, have I missed anything? I don't think so. feel like I've been pretty thorough. So, I talked to everyone, didn't I? Yeah. We should return to the encampment. This is more awful than I imagined. Will you still send any Roselle in the Wolfort domain here? Force them into a life like this? I... <sighs> no, obviously, Saranoa. Right. What is with it this fucking... just... I don't care that it would ensure our own safety. It, it, it's like painful that the character that is supposed to be us is actually considering that we would send these people who we helped and we'd just betray them and fucking send them back here to die in horrible slavery like who the fuck what kind of fucking prick would consider that indeed it would be unforgivable what is just is constantly in flux depending on the circumstances that said Protecting people is always the right thing to do. Wouldn't you agree, Saranoa? I feel the same as you both, but... Oh, you, you can't say the but! You can't say the but! My I feel the apologies. same as you both, full stop. I didn't mean to place all the blame on you. Still, we... Imagine we saying but! stumbling on the path before us. Imagine, yeah, slavery is bad, but. <laughs> Sarah Noah and his retinue return to their domain, their every step weighed down by the heavy task Hyzant has placed upon them. Bum, 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 Elsewhere, bum. the newly restored kingdom of Glenbrook begins to take action under Queen Cordelia's leadership. The kingdom issues a joint proclamation with Esfrost against Hyzant, halting all trade and severing diplomatic ties with the Holy State. Oh goody. <laughs> No side quests for that? That seems like a pretty major event to have just happened to then not have anyone talk about it. Okay. <laughs> so, next up is as unrest spreads across Norzalia, Serenoa must decide the future of the Rosellan villagers. Well, I mean, oh god, that means that there's going to be like three people that are in favor of fucking over people we've sworn to protect and sending them back to that 
absolutely fucking terrible place we just witnessed? Who are the three that are going to argue in favor of doing that? I'm going to hate those three for the rest of the game. But I guess we'll find out who it is next time, because that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Triangle Strategy. Thanks for watching. See you then.